Good morning students. Today we will study about soil. We live on earth. Three fourth of earth surface is covered with water and one fourth is land. The land has a thin covering called soil. So soil is the uppermost layer of earth surface and it is the most valuable natural resource. Now we will see the importance of soil. Firstly, plants grow in the soil. Soil supports the plant growth by holding their roots firmly. Plants take water and minerals from the soil through their roots. We humans and animals depend on plants for food and oxygen. So, if there is no soil, no plants will grow and so there will be no food for the living things like human beings and animals. Secondly, soil provides shelter to many organisms like insects, rabbits, earthworms, etc. Soil is also used as a building material. We can make many useful items like bricks, tiles, pots from soil. Medicines like penicillin is prepared from bacteria and fungi which live in the soil. It also acts as a water filter. When rainwater passes through the different layers of soil, it gets purified and stored as ground water. We depend on soil for many of our basic needs like food, clothes, medicines, water and shelter. So we have seen that soil is important for all of us, for all plant and animal life and life is not possible on earth without soil. So we should conserve soil because it is a very really precious natural resource. Next we will see how soil is formed. Soil formation is a slow and continuous process. It is also an ongoing process. Ongoing process means it is a never ending process. Soil is formed by the breaking of rocks into smaller pieces by the action of sun, wind and water. This process is called weathering. Soil also contains the remains of dead plants and animals which we call humus. This humus makes the soil fertile and also gives dark color to the soil. Now, we will study the formation of soil with the help of this flowchart. Long ago, there was no life on earth. The earth is covered with different kinds of rocks. Due to the heat of the sun, rocks get heated. Then, water and cold weather cooled them down. This continued for long time. Due to continuous heating and cooling of rocks, cracks developed on them which get bigger and bigger with time. Finally, they break down into small pieces due to the action of flowing water and frozen water. Then, wind and water carry these small pieces of rocks to far off places. These pieces of rocks rub against each other and break into further very tiny particles called soil. These particles get mixed with decaying plants and animals to form the layer of soil on the earth. So in this way, a thin layer of soil is formed. Now, during this soil formation, we have heard a term humus. Now what is humus? Simple plants and animals grow in the soil. When these plants and animals die, they decay and form humus. So, humus are the remains of dead animals, plants and leaves. This humus gets mixed with the soil and makes the soil fertile. The humus is basically dark brown or black in color. So, students, that's all for today. Thank you and have a nice day.